Good morning. We are uh, going through the Gospel of John on a daily basis, and we are studying uh, the Gospel of John chapter 5 today, verses 24 through 30. Most assuredly, I say to you, and this is regarding life and judgment or through the Son, he who hears my word and believes in him who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment, but has passed from death unto life. Most assuredly, I say to you, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so he granted the Son to have life in himself, and has given him the authority to execute judgment also because he is the Son of Man. Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming in which all who are in the graves will hear his voice and come forth, those who have done good to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. I can of myself do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is righteous because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. So the, the beauty of the, of the scripture is that Christ and God and the Holy Spirit, one God manifest in three persons, are all collaborating together according to the same will and the same purpose. There's never a disagreement in the Trinity. Uh, it's one heart, one mind, one thought, yet separately, independently, a will that is also the same in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Th three persons in the Godhead. One God manifests in three distinct persons. I know that's hard to comprehend with our uh, earthly minds, but this is what the scriptures reveal to us. And what's encouraging here is that the judgment is done through Christ. And Christ calls us his friends in another section of scripture. He says, if you do my will, you're my friends. So we don't have to fear judgment whenever we leave this world. If we're in Christ, if we're saved, we're born again, we've passed from death unto life. And the judgment of uh, eternal punishment is not upon the believer. Uh, Jesus tells us that um, if we hear his word and me, we have everlasting life and shall not come into judgment, but is passed from death into life. And so it should give you great comfort to know that even though you're still a sinner, you make mistakes. We all do things that we know are not God's will, but we can correct those things by repenting and continually staying close to the Lord. Uh, we're never going to be judged in the sense of an unbeliever who has never received Christ. Uh, that judgment will come upon people without the Lord because they haven't received the gospel and believed it, and they'll be judged and have everlasting torment, everlasting punishment. But for the believer, the judgment is not for eternal punishment. The judgment is the judgment seat of Christ we study in Corinthians is about our works. How is our lives um, reflecting the Lord? when we leave this world. He'll, we'll be judged for how we lived in the sense of uh, the rewards that we'll receive for the things done uh, being obedient to the Lord. And so it should give us great comfort not to fear death, to know that the judgment that we actually did deserve because of our sin, Christ has taken upon himself and paid the debt for our sins so that we don't have to fear death or to fear judgment. So God bless you guys. We'll catch up with you tomorrow.